Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Very few people spend time talking about potassium, but this important mineral regulates nerve function, muscle strength, as well as the cardiovascular system. So these seven signs that I'm gonna to present to you will hopefully help you tremendously because if you are experiencing any of these, this can be an indication that you are low in potassium. There are many foods that are high in potassium, like bananas, avocados, melon, and white beans. The recommended daily allowance is 4,700 milligrams per day. Here is the problem with the adverse reactions of medications, as well as the poor food choices that we make every day, we are causing excretion of potassium where our body is not holding on to it. So if you're always feeling fatigued and tired, you may not be getting enough potassium in your diet. You may also notice while working out, after your workout, you feel wiped out. That's another indication you can be deficient. If you're feeling dizzy and faint, that may be another key sign that you're missing potassium in your diet. And if you're noticing tingling and numbness in your body or pins and needles in your extremities, that can also be another indication. So if you are experiencing significant dizzy spells, I recommend you follow up with your doctor. Potassium is crucial when it comes to regulating muscle integrity. So if you're experiencing lots of muscle cramps, Charlie horses in your legs, start adding more potassium. If you're feeling bloated all the time, your body may be struggling to regulate your sodium levels. So try cutting back on the salty foods as this is the number one cause of bloating in your body. If your blood pressure is elevated, you're experiencing hypertension, possibly heart palpitations, potassium may do miracles for you. Lack of potassium will constrict the vessel walls, increasing blood pressure. So when you add potassium to your diet, the vessel walls start to relax, making it much easier on the heart. If you're eating lots of processed foods, you're probably taking in an excessive amount of sodium. Here's the problem. Too much sodium causes the body to excrete more potassium. So cut back on those salty foods and beware of those processed foods as well. If you are constipated and you are hydrated, meaning that you're getting enough fluids, lack of potassium can be an indicator why this is occurring. Low potassium levels will cause your digestive system to become very sluggish. So please share this video with your friends and family. This can be very helpful for those who are deficient in potassium. Please leave your comments below and most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.